Hey, I'm God Vlogger, and this video is to show the song lyrics for a fantastic song called Eve, which is by Shelley Segal off her album called An Atheist Album. Uh, and you can buy it on iTunes or Amazon. I'll put the links to where you can buy it down below. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, and this is fair use because I'm actually uh, going to be uh, reviewing and critiquing and uh, talking a little bit about the lyrics and their basis from the Bible. Uh, and um, at any rate, here's the um, place you can, I'll show you the link for how to buy it on Amazon and also on iTunes, which is where I bought my copy. And without further ado, let me play the song and the lyrics now. The Bible tells me I was made for and from man. And I must do for him everything that I can. I must surrender to his will, yeah. I must submit. I can't make the household decisions cause I am unfit. It tells me my place with everlasting grace. Bible tells me I must be silent, you can't hear my voice My role has been divinely defined And I have no other choice I may not be a teacher of men I must cover up my shame These are the laws of the one who in vain I cannot name He tells me my place Touch me, and it has nothing to do with where I've been. It is part of who I am, it is because I corrupt men. I was asking for it just by being no man. He tells me my place. To his will, yeah. I must submit. I can't make the household decision, cause I am unfit. It tells me my place. Okay, so sorry to end abruptly there. If you want to hear the tail end of the song, which is mostly instrumental, you can buy the song, which I highly encourage you to do. Um, but moving on to discussing the lyrics, I think the lyrics are fantastic uh, for this song. And um, really, it just brings to mind for me lots of quotes uh, from the Bible and how much the Bible is just an insult to women. Um, it amazes me that the Bible is still such a popular book uh, when... It's insulting and uh, demeaning to you know half or more than half of the population on the planet. Um, here's some, a couple of quotes that jump to mind for me. Uh, this one's from Timothy, so New Testament stuff here. Uh, a woman must learn in silence in keeping with her position. Yeah, meaning her lowly position. I don't allow a woman to teach or have authority over a man. What kind of craziness is that? Some of my, my, my best teachers have been women. Uh, instead, she should be quiet. Yes, women should be quiet, according to the Bible, and they should keep their mouths shut, according to the Bible. What craziness. Uh, Corinthians says, you know, the women are to keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but are sub to subject themselves. And if they want to learn something, let them ask their own husbands at home. 
right? I mean, heaven forbid, you know, women should go and learn something on their own uh, without it being taught to them by their husbands. You know, it's shameful for women to speak in church. You know, for indeed man was not created for woman's sake, but woman for man's sake. Yes, the purpose of women, according to the Bible, is for men, uh, but not the other way around. Um, wives submit to your own husbands as is fitting in the Lord. They're big into this submit thing. You've got to submit, submit, submit to your husband. Um, and they tell you that it's because that's what God wants you to do. Mm, I'm kind of suspicious that just a bunch of old men made that up and said that that's what God wanted the, yeah, the women to do. Um, Leviticus here, you know, it tells us what happens when a woman gives birth. Now we might think, wow, Women are phenomenal, and they have this, uh, you know, uh, reproductive life-giving ability uh, to bear children, and isn't that you know special and wonderful and and something we can admire? Um, but actually, according to God in the Bible, it's filthy and unclean. It's really nasty, you know. Uh, you know, so they tell you here that um, if a woman gives birth, she's unclean. And even more importantly for this context is if she gives birth to a baby boy, a man-child, she's unclean for seven days. But if she gives birth to a girl child, you know, then she's unclean for two weeks. So she's twice as filthy and unclean for giving birth to a girl child. The nerve of that woman uh, to have done such a dastardly thing. Um, the whole thing is obviously crazy, right? Um, and, you know, again, I've given some New Testament, some Old Testament. Here's one, uh, another one from New Testament. Wives, be submissive to your husbands. Uh, and, you know, basically saying, you know, women have to trust in God and be, you know, to be submissive to your husband. Uh, and, you know, older women, you should, you know, admonish the younger women, you know, to be, do what? Be obedient to your husbands, uh, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Uh, so really, you know, they're just trying to drive this home that, uh, you know, that God, this God for which there's no proof of his existence, uh, that men are saying that this God wants the women to really be submissive to the men. Um, wives submit, is more New Testament, wives submit to your own husband as the Lord. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything everything women uh so you know just as the church is uh basically a mere peon a low life you know down at the feet of jesus christ the creator of the entire universe similarly is how they want the power struggle or power arrangement to be between wives and their husbands where wives you know, are basically just um you know leaps and bounds below their husbands um and it, they make it explicitly clear in the Bible that they're talking about everything. So whether that's raising kids, running the home, finances, everything. So um, that is some of the craziness that's in here. Notice that the husband is never told to be submissive to his wife in the Bible. Um, it's just you know the the other, only the other way around. Um, the Bible is very 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 clear, very consistent uh, that the Judeo-Christian God wants women to submit to their husbands uh, and to men in churches, in public, at home, you name it. Uh, so that is the craziness here in the Bible. Um, so now, back to our tune here, uh, our song Eve uh, obviously draws on some of these themes uh, and on the idea of, you know, that women, the childbirth itself is actually a curse from God placed upon Eve in the Garden of Eden. So every time you think about a woman who is suffering in labor, our own mothers and sisters and wives and cousins and daughters and nieces, etc., um, you know, if they're suffering in labor, uh, really, that is intentional pain and suffering being inflicted by Yahweh, if you believe the Bible to be true. Uh, so that is a craziness there. Anyway, that's uh, some of my thoughts on this fantastic song called Eve by Shelley Segal uh, from her album called An Atheist Album. Again, check it out on iTunes, Amazon, uh, wherever you can find it.